Next, we are turning to the southern border. That's where Border Patrol officers are preparing for this influx of migrants that we've been warned about as a Trump-era policy is set to be lifted by May. Yeah, this is new border numbers show over 800,000 border encounters from October of last year, last October, to January of this year. Our very own border correspondent Jason Jones was embedded with the Texas DPS and has some exclusive video uh, for us from the border. Jason, thank you very much for joining us. I know those numbers we had discussed with you, but it's quite something different when you're experiencing it there on the ground. You know, it really is. Last night was really something. We were in Roma, Texas and at approximately 11 p.m. We just began watching as hundreds, and I truly mean that, hundreds of people at a time began crossing that border, stretching lines from the Mexico side in Miguel Aliman, crossing into Texas. And I want you to take a look at this exclusive video. We saw children as young as five months old being held by their families as they were being carried across. And all of them, well, I shouldn't say all, but most, had these wristbands on them, meaning that this is human trafficking, not human smuggling, because they're indebted to these cartels. They told us that the average fee was between $3,000 to $5,000 just across that river. Now, these folks, most of them have been traveling for over a month just to reach the Texas coastline. And when we asked them, where are you going? They said, we're going to Atlanta, Georgia, we're going to Houston, Texas, and we're going to Virginia. Now, here's the thing about this, though. The dynamics have absolutely changed here. I come here all the time. And most of these folks, guys, were Cubans, Nicaraguans, and uh, Venezuelans. So I can tell you this, as being a guy on the ground, I have warned that this was coming, and we're seeing the surge happen right now. And what drove it? It was the perception that Title 42 was about to end. So whatever the federal government's looking to do now, they're a little late at the game because it is happening now. And, the numbers for the month of March, you can expect to be 200,000 plus or minus apprehensions. Now, we've talked about this a little bit, but Title 42, I think it even goes back to the 40s or 50s, which essentially says that for health reasons, you can stop somebody at the border if you think they might have a disease or some medical condition. And the Trump administration had very uh, smartly utilized that for COVID. And so that's been in effect. And I guess uh, the Biden administration is used a little bit, but they're about to phase it out, they say. The, the expectation is by Mar May 23rd or somewhere around there. And that's what you're saying is but like a big green light, come on in. We're not going to stop you for any medical reason. Bob, you're absolutely right. This is really the way to look at this is this is the last authority that really allowed the men and women of U.S. Customs and Border Protection down here on the border to conduct rapid expulsions back to their country of origin. It's been responsible since President Trump put it into office in, into place in February of 2020 for 1.2 million rapid expulsions out of the country. So it goes back to what we talk about all the time about perception, that perception drives migration. And when you tell the world that if you come, you'll be able to make it, and then the alien smuggling organizations on the ground, the Mexican cartels and these long haul smugglers are seeing it real time and spreading that around the world, this is why these folks are coming. And I'll say it right now, expect the numbers to continue to increase. Last night, we were talking to folks down here. They're saying there's 11,000 people in just the city of Reynosa ready to cross right now. Wow. And over here, they're expecting another 5,000. So the numbers are through the roof. And you're going to see it play out real time when U.S. Customs and Border Protection finally releases the data to the American people for the month of March. Massive increase, just as we here at Newsmax have been warning was coming. Jason, where do all those people think that they are going? Well, in their minds, what we were they were telling us last night is they know where they want to go. They've got family, they've got friends that are already here and they're trying to reach them. Now, that's some of the, the challenges that they're going to face going from here and how they're going to get there. But here's what I can tell you is there's no deterrent. I mean, guys, there's not near enough Border Patrol agents down here. This, this area down here is the Rio Grande Station sector. You've got about 72 miles of river, and you may have at times anywhere from 10 Border Patrol agents to maybe 20 tops. So when you get these massive surges, 
They all have to come in, process these people, especially when you have children in this tough environment where everything bites, everything's got a thorn, and get them processed very quickly to get them out of this environment. But what happens? What happens is then fentanyl and every other thing like the high values that you hear me talk about, the smuggling of weapons and other things then cross. And so in the northern states, you feel this border problem in overdoses. But very soon, yeah. this virus of trafficking is going to impact us as well. And guys, I'm holding it in my hand. And it's, it's a tough thing when you see those babies down there like that. I'm just yeah. going to be honest with you. Because one thing Jay. I can tell you, what those cartels do, them, do to them is real shame. Uh, Jason, before heart. we go, um, the people that do get stopped, do get processed, they stay here in the United States, mm -hmm. right? They're given a date to appear, and in most cases, they're not going to appear, correct? That's right. That's exactly right. Okay, so and, they and know Bob, they make it happening. When I talk to the, oh, they do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And many of them will like last night. You got to remember those were family units. They're not single male, single females. They will stay in this country. They will claim credible fear or asylum. That's why they walk directly to border patrol. They're not running. But the single male, single females right now under the current administration's policies are not allowed to stay. And that's why once all the resources are in one location, you see, you can literally look at night upriver and downriver and see those other rafts coming. And that's, those are all runners that are making it in. And that's why wow. I say you're also going to see 60,000 Godaways approximately yeah. this month. Massive increases. Yeah. Watching that video, I was watching all the children coming through and, and what he said there about what the cartels are doing to these babies. It's just uh, overwhelming when you think about that. Uh, Jason, thank you for joining us.